Now entering Nerdist.com. Hello and welcome to Today We Learned. I'm Dan. Hi, I'm Razzle. Hi, guys. What's up, Razzle? It's hey. been a minute. Hi, Dan. How have you been? I haven't, uh, I haven't I've seen been, you in uh, a long time. I've been traveling, gallivanting, cavorting. Pretty much I've been everywhere except here. Yeah. Uh, but I'm back because I missed you guys. Oh, I missed you, Dan. Yeah, seriously. Tra- I-, I love traveling. It's cool when I get to travel for work, but that gets exhausting. And uh, yeah, yeah, you've been gone for a while, and I'm glad we're- I'm glad you're here. Yeah, me too. I'm very glad I'm here because today uh, I'm super excited about today's guest because she was one of my favorite guests that has been on the show before. Yeah, same here. She's um. She she's was on our I believe her, our sixth surf. Yeah, sixth back in the single digit days. Yeah, long time ago. Yeah, or, or, back uh, in ot thirteen. Yeah, um, I was looking at Aristotle because I, I see I know yes. what he's doing. <laughs> I see him on his computer like he's looking up what number she's been on. But uh, it's all right. It's lost to the sands we, of time. No one can faster, say for sure. We talk faster than he can Google. Apparently, he's banging. Uh, he's banging <laughs> and deciding <laughs> because every time that happens, Jonah uh, Ray gets a paycheck. <laughs> God damn you, Bing. Um, anyway, guys, uh, super fun episode today. Yeah. Thank you again for all the kind words and the comment sections yeah. and the iTunes reviews and the stars you've left us. We appreciate them. Yeah. We appreciate and, uh, you. We appreciate you guys. You know, we appreciate you uh, giving us giving us your ears. Yeah. Uh, uh, you know. We, yeah. Uh, still yeah. don't have a sponsor this week, nope. but uh, you know Not what? Yet. Go check out T Fury. They're go cool dudes. Out, yeah, go check out T Fury. Go check out. Nerdist.com, check out It's T-Fury. an okay website. Yeah, it's all right. T-Fury's good. Keep me, keep, keep me in business. Keep me, keep yeah. me employed. Yeah. Um, what are, I'm trying to think of other cool websites. That yeah. You go to. Uh, check out... Uh, <laughs> i trying to think what I've been using recently. Uh, oh, it's been really hot recently. So check out The Fucking Weather. Because the, fucking weather. It's, it's a, the forecast will be exactly what you're thinking when you step outside. <laughs> That's awesome. I love That's it. That's a dot com. It's like, it's like a... It's like when Ren and Stippy would always show those close-ups of their noses or, or oh god, and it's always gross. It's like that's how the heat out here has been. Yeah, like, it's been uh, it's been a little sticky been recently. Warming, yeah. Which I gotta say, I think global warming is real because <laughs> it never used to be this humid, yeah, but it's been kind of no, humid recently. There's no scientific yeah. evidence to back uh, up that. Speaking of global warming, if I just saw Snowpiercer today, I watched that. I mean. Here's the thing. I have the internet, and it was on the internet. Okay. Here's ago. the thing. I've had I've had a digital file of it for a long time. Real talk, though. Didn't watch it. Waited for it to come out in theaters, and it is so good. I enjoy it. It's fantastic. Really smart, capable sci-fi. Yeah. Go see it. It's got Chris Evans in it. He's and Tilda good. Swinton as the incredible Tilda Swinton. Damn, Tilda Swinton. So She's good so good. Yeah. So. So good. It's a really good movie. Snowpiercer. Go see it. Yeah. Go see that. And it's while you're driving Evans. there, listen to the rest of this podcast yeah. <laughs> because we got a really exciting episode for yeah. you today. Really so fun. let's let's get to it. Fuck it, shall we? We like this guest, and this guest likes you. Uh, and this is a great podcast, really fun, a lot of cool, fun facts and trivia. So without further ado, today we learn number, number forty-four with April Richardson. Richardson. <laughs> Gentlemen, let's broaden our minds. Absolutely. Well, first off, let's get in this. While we're okay, talking sorry, about, sorry, well, no, no worries, no worries. This, these gems. No, absolutely, this is good. Well, I mean, we're recording anyway, so la da la da, yada yada da. This is today we learned. Um, as usual, my name is Razzle, and I'm Dan. And with us is the very funny. Uh, welcome back, April Richardson. Hi. Yeah. Wait, you can't, I can't hear it, but we just released a bunch of confetti into the uh, <laughs> yeah, recording I studio. Can't hear, I can't hear anything out of I these. I can't hear but anything out of here. Any, also, that would also be because God these damn, does not seem to be on. No, here we go. Got some technical difficulties. All right, we can't perform this unless is, uh, we can hear our own voices. This is what voices. happens when you get bumped up from intern to full-time uh-huh. staff member. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so anyways, I know we're rolling anyways, but um, so welcome back, April Richardson. Uh, Hi, thank you. As, thank you for having me back. Thanks for coming as, back. Uh, as all of our listeners know, we start off every episode with the guests providing a fact about themselves or something they learned recently, and you already provided a fact oh, yeah. you recently about Ivan Drago. Yes. And a fact here on the sheet, we were discussing uh, the best Rocky movies. Uh, Mr. T, everybody knows Mr. T, uh, Clubber Lang. Clubber. Yes, of course. Clubber Lang Clubber. Rocky yes. Three. Uh, anytime people talk about Mr. T, they um, 
they refer to him as uh, they, like his his catchphrase. I pity the fool, or like even on Pee Wee's Big Adventure, right? Uh, I pity the fool who don't eat my cereal. Uh, people equate that to the A Team because Mr. T was in the A Team, but uh, Mr. T never said that in the A Team. No. And actually says I pity the fool in Rocky Three. And that's where that's it originated. That's where it came from. He was in Rocky. Uh, yeah, I guess I th- was A Team before Rocky Three. No, no, it was not TV was before Rocky. then. He was uh, Mr. T was Clubber Lang before he was. Uh, in the A team, he was cast in the A team because of his role as Clubber mm-hmm. Lang. Wow! Um, in uh, Rocky Three, I think when I was a kid, I thought it was the reverse. Maybe I thought, I guess I thought A team came first. Yeah, I never back, it is alphabetical. But... So <laughs> yeah, so therefore, in years, it should have been. First. Yeah, okay, weird. <laughs> yeah, I never, um, I never really, I guess, uh, put the. Uh, like, I never did the math of when what came out or anything like that. Right. Um, I just remember I was younger than I yeah. am now when all of those things came out. Yes. Yeah. That's how I do math. Was just, uh, was I young? Cool. Yes. I believe it. And was you guys, I younger you than guys today? Know the, yeah. You guys know the origin of Mr. T's chains, correct? Uh, no. I don't. Oh, well, he used to be a bouncer at a nightclub. And so when people would leave behind chains and all he that, keep he would wear it outside. So that way, usually if they came by, they right. could get it back. He was the but lost and found. He's, yeah, just a yes. walking lost and found. But in the meantime, he was just getting like iced out as fuck. Yeah. Right. Mr. Uh, Mr. T sounds way better than Mr. Lost and Because found. I bet yeah. also people, there's no way people saw that and thought, oh, I can get it back from him. They were like, oh, he owns it now. <laughs> yeah. That's, he owns it. Yeah. No well, one ever went out to him and be like, excuse me, sir. They're like, Oh, shit, he the owns thought my was now. that they might have left it behind because they got like kicked out or they might right. have been banned. So that way they wouldn't have to go back inside the club. They could just come up to right. tea. But then you go up to Mr. him, you look T. at him, and you go, oh, You're yeah, like, these are yours now. Yes. Excuse me. Sir. Sorry, Mr. <laughs> Sorry, Mr. Lang. Yes. Excuse me, I seem to have left my necklace here the other... Uh, Mm, uh, yes, yeah, I left a just, chunky yeah. a chunky bracelet. Yes, and then it's like, oh, you, it's yours now. It's cool. My, bang, my yeah. bangles. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So that's a fun fact about Mr. T there. Yeah, that's uh, cool. That's his. Did stick. not know that. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's it. <laughs> now, now you know. And knowing half the battle. It's true. That's GI yeah, Joe's that. Half the battle of Ice T. Oh my trivia. god! Whoa. Or I see, Mr. Holy, T. Holy cap! Holy crap! Uh, if his wiki page is to be believed, he was once offered. $75,000 to anonymously assassinate a target. And I okay. quote, He offered me $75,000 to kill his friend. The last envelope in the letter contained a round-trip air- airline ticket, First Class United. Holy- Plus there was five grand wrapped in a little package, $1,500 bills. I tell you the honest truth, when I saw that money, I didn't believe it was real. Okay, first of all, that's a, that's James Bond shit. That's yeah. how people in James yeah. Bond yeah. movies uh, are asked to assassinate people. That's Seth oh Rogen and James Franco shit. Yes, yeah. <laughs> now Except- it is. So Mr. T never almost caused nuclear war. war. Number two, as a person who frequently edits Wikipedia pages, you probably can't believe that. I do that oh, all the time. Really? Are you a professional yes. editor, or are you, you like a, a wiki vandal? No, yeah, she just I goes just goes on to look, to correct the Morrissey trivia. No, oh yeah. no, I don't. No, no, no. I go to cl- I like I put me six stuff costume on people. changes. I don't, yeah, no, I've edited like. You know, dumb people like Chris Angel or whatever. Like, put on Chris <laughs> Angel. <laughs> I was show. watching Chris Angel's oh, shit, on, and like on. everyone in his family looks like Richie Sambora, <laughs> even his mom. So I put on his like Chris, Chris's family. Like Chris was born into a family of traveling Bon Jovi impersonators yeah. or something. <laughs> and then I put the Guy Fieri's brother. He had a brother that was separated at birth with the guy from Smash Mouth. Oh, oh gosh, I've who does any I've worse? Been, I've, been a, I've been on a Guy Fieri uh, Twitter kick lately, and. Supposedly, his son started following me, and he's liked a few of my things. Like the other day, I tweeted, "Guy Fieri has a cooking- oh, lo- love the accent." <laughs> yeah. Guy, Guy Fieri. Guy <laughs> Fieri. Uh, well, his real name is like Guy Fairy or yeah, something, totally. and he changed it well, to that's be he's cooler. Like super homophobic. From what yeah. I've heard. Yeah, me too. Uh, <laughs> I mean, he's uh, such an easy target, and I know that, but it's like I have heard that he's actually a dick. Yeah, I uh, I tweeted one time. I'm like, Guy. Uh, the the Chevy Avalanche is the Guy Fieri of trucks. Nah. <laughs> and his son favorited no, it. No, his son favorited this one. Guy Fieri has a cooking playlist comprised of Imagine Dragons, uh, radioactive on repeat. That's hilarious. <laughs> I just went on a couple dates with a guy who like actually really likes him. Who's a lovely dude, lovely, <laughs> lovely guy. But it was funny. We got in like so. I was like, aha! Like I thought he was joking, and he was like, no, I seriously like him. And I was like, oh, I don't know what <laughs> yeah. to say to that. I, I'm not the biggest fan of Guy Fieri, but I do enjoy a lot of the pr- a lot of the he places he Triple highlights. D. I like a lot of the places <laughs> yes. he highlights on that show. Yes. So I'm yeah. like, I would eat there, just not while you're there. Right. Well, that was the yeah. thing, is that he was like, he brings a lot of money to these, and I'm like, oh, that's cool, yeah, it's I a, guess. Exactly. But... He's the noble douche. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, 
He I mean, can park at that douche parking. Yeah. Um, yes. paint that everybody That's where they're from. Well, I mean, I okay, I've heard that he's actually a dick, whatever, whatever, yeah. but I also, it's jealousy because he's a sure. professional yeah, eater. Yeah. He's a professional eater. Yeah. yeah. Like, I, why can't I host a show and where he, I just go eat? He, he got things. that gig because he won uh, Next Food Network's yes. reality yeah. show. Yes. So. I mean, yeah, here's the thing. I make, he's too real. I yeah, make fun man of, of the people. I make fun of him, but he makes more than I make. By eating a sandwich. Yeah. So, he just gets to eat sandwiches in a camera and go, so, isn't this good? And yeah. He, and he, you know, he looks like he owns a time machine. Yeah. And I want a time machine. You do you, Guy Fieri. Yeah. You do you. you. Do you. <laughs> he sucks. But okay. Oh, that's funny. Uh, uh, here's a fact on here that uh, is going to blow my mind. Um, I'm just reading this for the first time, ladies and gentlemen, but I see the phrase MacBook, and this excites me because... I just recently purchased a brand new MacBook. Oh, congratulations. Um, finally, I've been out, as Dan and Aristotle know, I've been without a computer for a while. I've been using my, my uh, roommates. He's had uh, to go to the library, right. a.k.a. the homeless shelter. Right, right, and, right. Um, I finally bought a new MacBook, so this is going to be news to me. Uh, but according to the facts yeah, here on this page... There are hidden games on your MacBook. It's hidden. only MacBooks, not... Desktop, uh, like not Mac desktop. Maybe it's well. Assume I assume that it's on all like modern Macs. Right. Basically, if you have access to, you, you would have access to this. Basic. Okay. <laughs> if it's not on your Macintosh, you'll try this. You'll lose two seconds out of your life. Right. You can move on and all of your data. But for the most part, yeah. there are hidden games on your Mac. What you need to do is go to the terminal app, and where that is, that's located in the utilities folder, yeah, which there. is within your applications folder. And there's okay. a picture of Tom Hanks. Yeah. Uh, yes. Shut uh, the fuck up. It shows no, the no. entirety of the movie. I was like, the is terminal. that the secret? Because I love <laughs> yeah. it. But it's weirdly, it's Tom Hanks from Larry Crown, which is oh, quite yeah. uh, But no, so once you're in terminal, it's careful what you do in there because it's basically a way to access code directly on yeah, your Yeah, that's why I was like, It's for uh, serious hardcore hackers. Yeah. No, but you can do this. Go there and type in the phrase Emacs, E M A C S, all lowercase, Emacs. Then hit enter. After that, you hit X and escape, and it'll prompt you. After that, you can type in Tetris, Pong, or Snake. Shut and then you can up. say goodbye to your sweet, sweet oh, free God, time. Oh, God, yeah, I'll be playing yeah. Tetris at all times. Hell, yeah. And this is even this is even crazier. And not only can you play these, like, classic Nokia cell phone era games. Right. But you can play... You, well, you can play... It. <laughs> you can play you can God play. with your psyche <laughs> by typing in Doctor. And it'll prompt this weird, like, psychotherapy program where it prompts you to type in different questions, ailments, stuff like that, then we'll try to diagnose you and respond to them. Yeah. And if you Weird. all... And then yeah. Even, even one more. If you type in Matthew Broderick, you will get in a car accident in Ireland and t- kill two people. Yeah, you it's, it's wasted pretty... wasted a War Games reference opportunity. No, they're no. remaking Why did you it. do that? <laughs> because I knew... That's what I thought was coming. It's a, it's a turn oh, as, a fellow, okay. as a fellow comedian. Okay, uh, all right. I was leading everybody to think, oh, you get to play War Games. War Games. But nope, wow. he killed Flip two people. Listen, yeah. when you make a War the Games script. reference, no one wins. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and they are remaking they're that remaking film. That, they're yeah. trying to remake it. With who? Like With how? Who cares? Why are you yeah, doing why would this? You, you can't even remake it because it's based on a premise, like such an outdated. Uh, yeah. Technology. Yeah, you can't. You can't, can't. You can. Because is it just going to be somebody using the internet? Welcome to, like... to the War Games of Warcraft. <laughs> yeah. Like, how is that? That's a, yeah, no. yeah. Yeah. I don't know. They just want. They're, I think they're just going through the catalog and saying, what else can well, we they, like? Yeah, I mean, you brought it up earlier that Seth Rogen, James Franco movie is yeah. going to be like real life starting a yeah. war yeah. with North like Korea. Yeah, it's going to be like Yeah, games. we don't yeah. need any more games. They just need. Here's war. what needs to happen is Kim Jong un just needs to make his own retaliatory film with yes. Dennis Rodman yeah. starring as Obama. Oh my that God, way totally. He can do whatever he wants. Oh, that's amazing. Well, I'm kind of like, how do they even know this movie's happening? They don't even get to m- watch movies there. <laughs> so, how did he even find out about it? Someone crossed all the way from South Korea to tell them. Yeah, somebody, just somebody, yeah. Get on I YouTube, bet it was a guys. fucking vice reporter, just like <laughs> I'm gonna go all the way to North Korea, stir Start some shit. shit. Totally. That's so funny. <laughs> totally. So uh, funny, goddamn Korea. Well, North I Korea, hope it's right? good. I, I gotta say that uh, that first trailer did not have me hopeful. It no, just, it kind of didn't uh, me either. You know what? Yeah. First trailer doesn't have me hopeful is Dumb and Dumber, 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 Dumb and yes. Dumber. Which I'm going to see anyway. Two. Dumb and Dumber Toe? Yes. Yeah. I know. I am going to see it anyway just because, yeah. obviously, the original well, you know classic what? status. Yeah. But, yeah. You know what people are clamoring for? A sequel 17 years after the fact. Right. Yeah. Exactly. They just waited too long. I, yeah. I don't know. I want I want to be optimistic about it, though. Yeah. But, 
yeah. What I, I do like. want though is an Avengers of Jim Carrey characters from the nineties. Mm. So just like awesome. get the mask, but get the dude from Liar guys... Liar, get yeah. the dude from Me Myself and Irene. Right. Yeah, I yeah. still love him though. I have a real soft spot in my heart for Jim Carrey and same yeah. with Adam Sandler. I, I mean Adam Sandler I, I, definitely not the past like five no, movies. No, I mean at least Adam Sandler owned up to it on Kimmel. He essentially yeah. said they're all just paid vacations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But up until like he started Jim making those weird like romance like the drew barrymore ones and yeah. then of course the two grown-up movies but like he and jim carrey were dudes where i was like i still i still got it for I, you guys by default i'm still fans yeah yeah um, i'll tell you what was funny is uh what his andy samberg that's my boy uh-huh. that was, was actually i laughed out loud oh yeah i saw that movie too yeah that's yeah that's my boy it was that actually filmed, i mean it was a rated r one so there was it was warranted that there should have been at least a few laughs right but um it was pretty funny but it's you know it's I get that he, you know, he knows what he's doing. He's Adam Sandler. As much as as big of a fan as I am of him, you know, I'm a I'm a fan of Michael Bay. Don't hate me, uh, but I he, they know what they're doing. Right. Like they're making money. They're going to make massive amounts of it by yeah. making shitty products. You know what you're going into getting it. You're going to get a yeah. five cent bubble gum. The five cent bubble gum isn't going to taste like a. 25 cent bubble gum. Right. Like, but <laughs> you're going to pay 25 cents for it anyways, and 80% of America is going to enjoy it. Right. Yeah, I get it. I mean, I get what you're saying. Michael, but those guys have their place. Yeah. yeah. Transformers yeah. 3, excuse me, Transformers 4, four uh, we highest were, gross oh, I opening weekend of 2014 so far. So bad. Don't. I saw it. Yeah. It's 165 minutes long, two so hours bad. and 45 minutes. Are you so bad. joking? And Mark so bad. Wahlberg so bad. plays an inventor. And so listen to this. No, 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 no. I believe that less Hold than on. I believe giant ah. robots walking Hold around. Hold on. Ah. This is. He doesn't just play an inventor. Because you say inventor, and you think, oh, he's going to be wealthy. He's going to make lots of money. No. He plays, he, he's a poor, single father in Texas inventor who's so poor he needs to steal electricity from his neighbors. But yet he's got robots and all sorts of inventions of his in his garage that he can't make money off of or do anything with. And his daughter, who, his daughter, who also is severely smart, can't get a scholarship to college for some reason. Because... Why would we let an inventor's daughter into our esteemed <laughs> academy? But also, why does he claim the job title inventor if he's not like? How does he like pay his? He does. He like fixes up scrap and sells it yeah. and stuff oh, like that. Okay, okay. Yeah, and but also, bad. also that's maybe the most uh, upsetting uh, part I mean, of the want film. To spend an hour talking about. Well, no, I just want to. I just want to up because it's. I just so want to touch on this it. because I didn't even see three after this, two. I was like, I'm good. Yeah, this this is uh, this little plot piece is factually sure, just horrific. Oh. Uh, so the daughter dates an Irish stock car racer. Uh. For some reason, yeah, they well, met I'll over the why. internet. Where, where, what I'll tell city you why. is it? Because he's sponsored by Red Bull. Yes, and Red Bull gives you wanks. <laughs> no, but he. So he is twenty in the movie. His the daughter is seventeen. Okay. And for some reason, they just really lean into this so much so that he carries around a laminated card in his wallet Texas. with the Romeo and Juliet law, a statute in Texas regarding statutory rape that says if they had a pre-existing foundational relationship, it is not statutory rape. That way, it's not weird that a twenty. Year old is dating a the seventeen guy, year old. The twenty year old. Why can't... not just make her eighteen? Right, but hold on. In the movie, they talk about him carrying this in his wallet. Yeah. Like, yeah, that's he, like he whips it out. He thing. takes he out the it. card and he shows, shows it. it. He shows it when she could have been an eighteen year old in high yeah. school. Well, here's, I was. The thing. Yeah, here's the thing. Yeah, you're eighteen when you're a senior. The whole yeah. point of that was because the, the whole reason she was seventeen is because. She is technically a minor, so she has to listen to her dad. Oh, that's why. So stupid. God damn, oh my god, that's so movie. weird and gross. Just make him, make him movie. eight, make him seventeen. Even if I were the girl, such in I'd go, that's movie. weird and gross that yeah. you have god that damn, laminated. So yeah, exactly. Like that. Okay. Oh my I'm god, that's so cool. You love the law. You're really thinking ahead. Yeah. <laughs> April, let me that's ask so you cool. This. You just constantly bang seventeen year olds. Awesome. Yeah. April, you're a creative person. Oh, sure. If I, if I had to give you a job. Right, mm-hmm. and that job was to name things. Okay, sure. <laughs> and and I and the job for this, like for this, to earn this paycheck. I'm so terrified. I'm going to fail this test for this paycheck, to me. April. I needed to, you needed to come up with a name mm-hmm. for the metal that oh, transformed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! Is this like? Is this like a? Hold um, on, hold on. You, so in order, like an to avatar get, thing where it's called like. What was it called there when it Hold was like Hold on, I'll Infinitum tell you after, I'll tell something. you. You need to come up with a name that... Unobtainium. Metal, yes, That's what it was. was. Unobtainium. Uh, you need to come up with a name for the metal that Transformers yeah, are made out of. Yeah, the substance of which Transformers are made. Right. Yeah. Okay, just go ahead and tell me. Is it no, something like Unobtainium? Come up with a name, you, up with you, a name you, for it. If you just, uh, just spitball it. Spitball. Yes, yeah. and it. I mean, does it have to be fake? Cause no, come up with anything. If you were writing a movie 
that involved Transformers. Why are there so much pressure? <laughs> if you were writing a movie that involved Transformers, what would you name the metal that they were made out of? I don't know. Something robot sounding? I don't know. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, well, good, good, uh, good something hustle. that sounds hard to get. Yeah, I guess. well, this sure. sounds pretty hard, but to get. not on obtainium. Like you can't actually yeah, call it. Yeah, you Ready can obtain this? this one. Ready it's for this? Transformium. Shut your mouth. Yeah, of course it is. Yeah. That's what I was saying. That's just like the Avatar thing. They're legitimate. Transformium is supposed to be on like the periodic table of elements. Like, exactly. That's supposed yeah. to be a thing. So, oh, this is rarest Transformium. That's what they're made with. Yeah. As you know in the trailer. Wow. Here's the thing. This is all right. That, one more thing. So how does he get? Do you get the Transformium from Planet uh, Transformer? No, they, it's, they're from uh, Cybertron. Oh right, I don't know. I gotta say, all the shit I was into growing up, yeah. like I was kind of not super well, into no, Transformers. No, you get it. All good. You get it because. Billions of years ago, they dropped a bunch off on Earth. Apparently. Yeah, they basically just uh, terraformed Earth into. A, that's how the dinosaurs died. They were turned into Transformia. Ah, so, <clears throat> so one more thing about Transformers Four. Then we will get off this because I could literally make fun of this for um, three hours longer than the movie was. Yeah. Uh, there's a scene where Stanley Tucci, he's a scientist, he's in it. And, uh, <laughs> hold on, hold on. You know where this is going. Okay. He's, he's, in, he's inventing his own Transformers. He figured out how to take this Transformium and make their own Transformers, right? Okay. For some reason, there's a glitch in the thing, right? And it's not working properly. Stanley Tucci gets angry and, and is like, I want to know why they're not working, okay? And while this is happening, he's banging on the chalkboard behind him. And he's like, I want to know why this isn't working. And he's banging, and he shouts, math and numbers. Algorithms. Algorithms. He, literally, no, no, no. he shouts the words the math word. He shouts numbers. math. He shouts algorithms. says, uh. why can't we make the things we want the way uh, we, we want, want to, to make them? Math, algorithms, wow. numbers. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Stage direction. Yeah, <laughs> Holy shit! That's and so Stanley, stage left. Stanley Tucci's not—he's uh, not the this tush, his first man. time at the rodeo. No, he knows what he's doing. No, he, he, so I will funny. say though, he was one of the better characters in the film. Yes. Right. Yeah. Yeah. He was one of the best. He, 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 he was his, kind of—he was kind of a send-up of like a Steve Jobs type, like right. a self-obsessed tech His mogul. product right. placement wasn't as obvious as Mark Wahlberg cracking up open a Bud Light on a car door. Right. Yeah. Of course. <laughs> oh my God! Math numbers. Yeah. Oh no! Oh god damn! It's so funny. It's um, uh. It's, well, here we I go. Will be not, I will not be seeing it. Here we go. Fucking completely off topic. Here's something that's really uh, <laughs> wild here. Uh, Maryland is a state in the United States. I would say yes. so. I agree with that um, statement. And states in the United States have official things like official flowers, official Birds. Songs, Massachusetts official, is the yeah. chickadee. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, Maryland has an official state sport, and uh, that is none other than jousting. <laughs> Is Maryland. this like, is this like medieval true? jousting or like men's room uh, jousting? No, it's like uh, a, if you if you read about fighting. it on if you read about it on Wikipedia, um, it's it's a little more uh, subdued, um, like sportier jousting. You don't you don't knock people off horses or anything like that, but it's still a thing. You know? <laughs> sportier right. jousting. And in, in 1962, jousting was named the official sport of the state of Maryland. Uh, this was the first official sport of any U.S. state, obviously. So let's. Pick that jousting. seems late. 1962 yeah. seems like yeah. a late year for an official for the first official sport. Yeah, and also if it's jousting, it feels like it should have been 18. Exactly. Yeah, it should have been like should have been before <laughs> whatever. Yeah, whenever should, medieval, should medieval time. What do I talk about? Like 1500s. Yeah. Before we were a yes, country. Yes, totally. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah so that was that's absurd. interesting. Well, what does yeah, that mean? I thought mean, they would have gone with like race riots. Yeah, <laughs> that's our official sport. Yeah. Wait, what? I don't. What, uh, do does anyone do jousting? Oh yeah, yeah. Like my buddy was varsity jousting at Silver <laughs> Spring High. <laughs> Hates those fuckers from Bethesda Tech. Yeah, yeah. They, have, they have tournaments every year about it. Every 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 few years. Yeah, the Renaissance Pleasure they have a Fair rolls stadium? through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> jousting. Weird. That's absurd. Do they yeah, have to dress like uh, knights and everything? I would hope so. Yeah, and they, uh, you know, they, <laughs> yeah, they, not, it's armor emblazoned with uh, <laughs> the sigil of House Red they're, Bull. They're just they're they're dressed up like uh, ravens, like the Baltimore Ravens, yeah, like, <laughs> and armor and characters from the they're wire, in purple. Yeah, they're in, yeah, yeah, totally. Yeah, Omar so Jousting. <laughs> uh, well, here's something that is illegal: <laughs> beach theft. <laughs> you go to the beach. Isn't just theft? You can just say theft. I mean, yeah, that's what I would think. <laughs> theft is illegal. Or is it stealing to beaches? To get more specific, that's exactly what it is. Beach theft is an unauthorized and illegal removal of large quantities of sand from a beach leading to the full or partial disappearance of that beach. It occurs in a large number of countries around the world, and it was it discovered does? It was yeah. discovered in Jamaica in July 2008. 
The beach at Coral Springs in Jamaica's northern parish of Trelawney was 400 meters of white sand. The bulk of the sand in this 0.5 hectare beach, uh, of which approximately 500 truckloads was found missing in July 2008. Okay. In this form, part of a resort complex, but the theft of its most important feature resulted in developers putting their plans on hold, which had a distinct and lasting impact on the local economy. Illegal sand mining is evidently a problem in Jamaica, which is a ridiculous <laughs> sentence. It's the local tradition of people building their own homes that has caused a huge demand for construction. Do they material. build their homes out of like sand bricks? Uh, yeah, they live in sand castles. <laughs> Literally. Yes. That's crazy. But yeah. it also says, I love this. It says. It was found missing, which almost makes me think, like, I know that really means it was missing. Yeah. Like they, but found missing <laughs> makes it sound like, you know, they went down the street and they're like, we found this sand. Yeah. Here's the sand. When it's like, how do you know where I got this? It's exactly. sand. <laughs> it looks like all the rest of the sand. Yeah. yeah. Well, maybe it's like the special, like, white sand beach. Oh, yeah. I guess that's true. Compared to, yeah. like, I don't know, just a crummy normal sand. Right. <laughs> like a fine grain compared to a coarse grain. Yes. So oh my god, yeah. yeah. My god, there's up to 500 truckloads missing from this beach. Plus it's like, that's a thing you can't really do quietly. Yeah. That's not like dancing through the lasers at an art heist kind of movement. Exactly. Like, you're backing a Brinks trunk up to get the sand in yeah. it. Like, people well, are going to notice that. Here's what happened. A reggaeton concert was going <laughs> very late into the evening. Sure. And the boom pap the of the beats. bass yeah. was so loud, yeah. no one could hear those need, trucks uh, backing up. We need to get... Uh, Jason Statham and Mark Wahlberg to star in a movie sand called The Heist. Sand Sporter. <laughs> the, the, the Sand Sporter. Totally. Bahama Job. Sand Heist. <laughs> Jamaican Job. Too bad I would see that movie, but I would see anything uh, with Statham. Yeah. I will see anything with Statham. I always just think of that Pat Oswalt column from uh, several years ago. Oh Gatham God. for Statham. Yes, that is one of my favorite yeah. things he's ever written. Just, uh, it's so true. It argues that every movie would be better if Jason Statham was that in it. True. And I dare you to I, prove me I, wrong. I, I agree. I, I feel that with The Rock as well. I, yeah, the, I love dude, me some rock. I want want to hang out with that guy yeah. so bad. I want to smell life. what he's cooking. I want to, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I swear to God, like I love all his movies. I think he's oh, great, man. but he seems like a fantastic human yeah, being. Yeah, he just seems like oh, so much fun to hang out with. He seems oh, like a pleasant dude. Yes. Dwayne, you have to when your name's Dwayne. Yeah. Yes, Dwayne. Yeah, look at look at Lil Johnson. Wayne. Yes. I would totally hang uh, out with a rock all day Dwayne long. Dwayne Johnson, not only does he seem like he's he like he's fun, mm. he seem, just seems like a cool dude. Cool dude. Cool, yeah. nice dude. Real yeah. chill bro. Yeah. Cool, cool. all these guys. Fist I feel pops like, all day. I feel like every Samoan I know of is a nice dude. I don't know Name of many. Name another Ralph, Samoan. <laughs> the, uh, that, that cookie <laughs> yeah. the Girl Scout sell. <laughs> yeah, those are pretty chill. Yeah. I'll take it back. It's pretty sick. <laughs> I mean, I know one, but... The Rock, he's the one. I, I know. According, I know to the my, rock. according to my scientific test, it works. Yeah, it's a hundred percent chill. If I was Samoan, I would be really <laughs> pleased if he was my representative. Yeah. So we'll just let him be. Yeah, he's the, the he, one. I think he's the ambassador. Yes, uh, he should be if he. Yeah. Isn't. That's funny. Well, we were talking about jousting, which is a sport. Uh, then sure. we were talking about beach stealing, um, which happens around the world. Go and then on. We were talking about uh, The Rock, who's Samoan, where... who has. From Samoa. I see how these all tie together. He was a professional athlete at one point in the uh, World Wrestling Federation. Uh, Speaking of world, uh, the World Cup is happening right now. Yay! Oh my god, that game yesterday. I can't believe it. What a heartbreaker. Uh, Or a victory. Yes. April, are you uh, have you been paying attention? Are you a fan or are you a not at all? You're a bandwagon or are you a I've been watching pretty religiously. Yeah, I know Dan has. He's been tweeting about it nonstop. I haven't been watching it at all. Dan was up this morning. I woke up and I checked my Twitter feed, and it's like just Dan. Oh, this game! Like, like he must. I feel like you got up at nine to go day drink and watch something. Are you a soccer I dude di- in general? Or yeah, just- I like. I will watch. I'll watch Premier League. I'll keep up with the European leagues. I've, right. I used to go to MLS games. Okay. Because, wow. Yeah, it's like nineteen sure. bucks for a ticket. And yeah. I love live sports. I'm assuming um, that means Major League Soccer. Yeah. yeah. It means so. must love soccer. <laughs> yeah. Love soccer. The John yeah. Cusack sequel to Must yes. Love Dogs. Um, yeah, no, it's been uh, it's been great. I did not wake up today to go day drinking <laughs> because I went to a baseball game yesterday and did some day drinking then. <laughs> but no, I, I just woke up, I walked my dog, and then just stayed awake and watched the game because awesome. Netherlands versus Mexico cool. was so good. It was uh, so good. That penalty was bullshit. I wanted Netherlands to win, but not like this. How about that? Cro- was it Croatia? No. Uh, Co- Costa Rica Costa versus Rica. Greece. Rica. That was a, that was yeah, Greece, Rica, and Costa Rica. Uh, that was a close game. That yeah. was we were. I was watching that, and that yeah. was uh, it was tied. Uh, then they went into. I still don't understand the rules of basically or anything like that. But now you, the first the there's first, two halves of uh, extra time. Um, and well, if you, and the first the first you can tie, 
And then the Yo, second round, the you can't tie. The first round, the, there's a first round stage where it's all the teams compete in groups of four. Correct. And, and the top two teams at the end of that Correct. move on to the next round oh, called play... the knockout stage, the group Correct. of 16. Correct. Okay. So in, in the, the group first of... round, you, you, can, you draw. can tie. So a victory is three points, a draw is one point, a loss is zero points. In the second round. And if round... you are tied with a team during that stage, it goes to goal differential, which means how many goals have you scored overall if you scored more goals or Matt, if you've led up goals. Numbers. <laughs> numbers. That's what, Algorithms. Listen, there's, there's nerds and stati- statisticians sure. to take care of that for you. You just have to Correct. look at a chart. Um, but in the second half, uh, the, second, uh, the you round can, of 16. You, you can't tie. So no, it's like they goes go, like, it goes into overtime. Hey, there's two halves of overtime. If you don't tie it, if you don't like score by then, it goes to a penalty yeah. shootout. So... Yeah, there's been some very exciting uh, games that have gone to. But anyways, out. Uh, what I was getting at is the United States tends to be uh, it's, it's it's called the World Cup, where most countries are fanatics about soccer because they they love soccer. Oh, I did. I lived in England for a few years after high school, and it was in Manchester, it's, and the ugh, family I lived with were God. obsessed with Manchester yeah. Man United. U. Uh, and when Man United the Yankees games were of soccer. On, well, they it was their family team, and like I know. weren't allowed to talk in the house. I've even oh. I've been to Old Trafford. I mean, I went to a Man U game with them, yeah. and like so when I lived there, I experienced yeah. it. I wasn't like super into it, but yeah. they were just like no fucking talking when this yeah. game's on, and that's, yeah, that's um that's completely different than the United States because nobody gives a fuck about soccer until the World <laughs> right. Cup is happening. Right. <clears throat> and here are some facts that prove that. Uh, not only are is Twitter blowing up with just people tweeting about the World Cup that really don't it's care trending. about soccer. Right. Uh, but in 1994, the 1994 World Cup was the highest attended in World Cup history with average attendance of nearly 69,000. Now, I'll give you one guess where the World Cup was held in 1994. 1994? I want to say Atlanta. It was, it was held in the United States, yes. Okay, oh. Yeah. It, was, it was held, I mean, it was held in uh, nine, different, um, uh, nine different stadiums. They played it. Uh, they played the World Cup in 1994 was in the United States, and that's the most attended of any World Cup. Right. Just goes to show you how much of bandwagon fans the United States are. Or how right. much we love waking up in the morning to yeah. drink all day oh, yeah, on yeah. the sun totally. and cheer the, for our country. The yeah. total attendance of nearly 3.6 million for the final tournament remains the highest in World Cup history, despite the expansion of the competition from 24 to 32 teams. Um, 1994 was also the year uh, Greece, Nigeria, and Saudi Arabia qualified for the World Cup finals for the first time. Uh, Russia competing independently for the first time after the dissolution of the Soviet Union, and the first time West Germany was u- united with East Germany to compete as Germany um, since the 1938 World Cup. Now, in 1994, the World Cup was held in nine different stadiums in the United States. Mm. Uh, it was held at the Rose Bowl in Pasadena, California, the Pontiac Silverdome in Pontiac, Michigan, which was also the first indoor stadium used in the World Cup. Oh, uh, it was held in the Stanford Stadium in Stanford, California, Giants Stadium in East Rutherford, New Jersey, the Citrus Bowl in Orlando, mm-hmm. Florida, <laughs> Soldier Field, Chicago, Illinois, the Cotton Bowl, Dallas, Texas, uh, Foxborough Stadium in Foxborough, Mass. Now and, known as Gillette. And uh, the Robbie F. Kennedy mm-hmm. Memorial Stadium in Washington, D.C. I bet it was like blowing the minds of the players from these other countries just how vast our country. Like, they were like, yeah. what? We got to drive how long to get to this? Oh, They're yeah. like, our entire country isn't even that big. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah honestly. Yeah. We live in your rogues island. You- yeah. Because, like, my friends from England, when they would come visit me, and I'd be like, let's go on a road trip to whatever. They're like, yeah. it literally, I'd go, oh, I'm from Atlanta. So I'd be like, let's drive to Graceland. That's like eight hours away in Memphis. They're like, Eight, you could drive. You could drive the whole length of my country in less yeah. than eight hours. Like, that's insane. It's like a yeah. trip to Vegas, and you've been through three countries. Yeah, totally. But also, I would argue I'm not super into sports in general, but yeah. I do think it's funny when Americans get snob. I- I've noticed people getting snobby about soccer and being like, oh, yeah. "It's not as good as football, or baseball." Or whatever. Uh, guess what? It's like five million times harder than those. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There is. Guess how many fat soccer players there are? Zero. Zero. Yeah. Guess how many fat like baseball players, and football <laughs> players are? A million. A lot. Like soccer, you're literally running for. 90, 90 minutes. 90 minutes. It's like the most cardio exactly. ever of all time. Yeah, you're just running back and minutes. forth and you're, yeah. you're at like high speed. using speeds. your head to actually yes. score goals. It's super hard. So it's like, as much as I'm super not into any sports, yeah. I do think it's funny when like armchair American people being like, oh, what the fuck this yeah. sport? It sucks. Well, it's, it's not and American. And they unironically like, sport way mullets. Harder. Yeah. 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 Well, and it's, well, yeah, like I made the joke the other day where it's like, I can never play in the World Cup because my haircut is too normal. <laughs> yeah. Like, some of these people are yeah. like it's like they're from the future. If like you don't look like it's like they're from like that what that uh, that uh, 
Bruce Willie movie, um, Fifth Element, where it's like yeah, just yeah. Some weird haircuts and shit. Yeah, no, so th- some of yeah, they do look super crazy. But I mean, I would argue that they're like the most Talented. fit athletes. Did you just give him a silent S at the end of Bruce Willis's Bruce name? Willie. Yeah. Bruce, Bruce Willie. Bruce Willie. Keen Peel. B Willis. You ever yeah. see that in the valet sketches? Yes. Yeah. 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 Liam Neeson. Are you kidding? So, Those yeah. are like my favorite. Oh my god! I watched so the Batman, the first Batman. Oh, the Batman was so good. Over and over and over and over. That's so good. How long was with the Batman? Oh, uh, speaking uh, of sports. Hello, Batman. Get over here. <laughs> it's like, so goddamn funny. Who are you gonna give Batman a cold? <laughs> Bat <Bat-lossage. laughs> Boom. Riddle me this. Yeah. Riddle me that. Yeah. Who's afraid of the Batmans? It was oh, pretty so great funny. when they actually got Liam Neeson oh, to god, come on the show. Of course. Yeah. Uh, so but funny. speaking of sports, absolutely. Here's a weird fact. Holy shit! This blew my mind. The Seattle Mariners, a baseball team in yes. Seattle, Seattle, are owned by Nintendo of America. What? Yeah. Yes. That There's must only- be where Ken Griffey Jr. baseball came yeah. from back in the day on the NES. There's only two uh, Major League Baseball teams that are owned by a corporation. Yeah. Uh, the one is the, the Seattle Mariners um, by Nintendo of America. I don't know where the second one is, but I, if Aristotle, if you could look that up, that'd be awesome. There's only two. All the other uh, teams are owned, owned by, by individuals, but um, just owned by the, dudes. The, yeah, uh, but see, that's another Seattle thing about Mariners. that blows my mind that like a person can own a sports team for yeah. some yeah. reason. Yeah, like that. Like just me being like, unless they're I racist. own the Dodgers. Like yeah. I just own them. Like what? How yeah. is that? They're people though. Yeah. like it's such a weird. Yeah, idea they to own me. the club, right? That's all. Clubs? Yeah, 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 obviously, but it's like. Still, just the weird phrasing of like, I mean, most things that people own are inanimate. I own a business. Yeah. Okay, well, that's a inanimate thing in a building, like a yeah. business. The idea of it, but like, yeah, like well, I, I mean, own this team. Yeah. Of it's humans. essentially owning a business, and you're employing players to yeah, fill the positions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's <clears throat> much true, like strip but, clubs. Employ, yeah. they pay strippers to get people in the seats. Uh, baseball athletes. Get you're paying for the, the pole. Seats. Yeah, you're paying. For <laughs> Still, I don't know. It's just such a weird idea to me. But I guess also it could have been made weirder by the you know the Donald Sterling thing, where yeah. it is it's like that dude taking the word "own" yeah. super seriously, and yeah. mostly. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. That was weird. Any luck? Uh, there are four teams. Oh, there. four, okay. four teams. Corrections There's, department. Uh, the Atlanta Braves by Liberty. Okay. Weird. Uh, Chicago Cubs by Tribune. Media. Yeah, it's yeah. like the Tribune Media Company, like a newspaper or media company. Seattle Mariners by Nintendo and Toronto Blue Jays by Rogers. Oh, okay. so far, yeah. I didn't know that about my hometown team. Yeah, I thought I, it was Ted Turner. Who's coming? Yeah. Are you guys next Atlanta. on the warpath for uh, getting your patents revoked or your your copyright revoked after the, what happened to the Washington oh, Redskins? I would. I can't. That has been going on since I was in like middle school. Yeah, when we started winning and stopped sucking. Is yeah, when I was in thanks, middle Greg school. Maddox. Yeah, I mean, it was really that was the time when everybody all of a sudden cared about the Braves again, and then. Yeah. There was already like at that time people being like, "Yeah, we got to change the name." So it's like yeah. I don't know how that yeah. hasn't happened yet. Yeah. Well, unless that's like less racist somehow than Redskins. Uh, I think. Well, I'll tell you what's because maybe well. they're like we're saying brave, like you guys are brave. Well, it's and, nice. yeah, but that's not the context. The I know, I know exactly, yeah. exactly. And they don't have the the Indian mascot, which here's the thing too is the well they the, do. It's the, like a tomahawk. They do. It's a it's well, tomahawk. On the, it's the home, chief. Yeah, no, some of them are chiefs. Indians. No, oh, some yeah. of them is the guy. Like, I remember in some uniforms, it is just like the Tomahawk and it says Braves, but then I feel like there were, or maybe I'm just thinking of like t shirts they yeah. sold at the time. It did I'm have a guy's about, face on them. The Cleveland Indians mascot and logo is way more offensive than the. It's like a cartoon. Yeah. It's like cartoon. Real, isn't like it? satirical. Like, oh, yeah. and if you go like, to the stadium, yeah. there's signs that say, We eat every part of the Buffalo chicken. Ah. Wow. Well, <laughs> Whereas you do the Washington Redskins, and it's like a really nice mural of a, you know, like a chief head. And he's not yeah. like red. He's like, you know, like tan or whatever versus the Chief Wahoo, who's like a just a. Who is oh, it's like old timey, like oh, newspaper yes. caricature. Yes. Like, we have to push the red menace back. Yes, <laughs> totally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, even my high school team, it was the Wakefield Warriors, and it was a, uh, a nice illustration of a uh, Native American chieftain. Of sorts with the headdress right. and everything, and there was some outcry over that. Yeah. Really? Yeah. But yeah, then one I'm... time, the gymnastics team ordered tracksuits, and they misprinted it, so it said the Wakefield Whamors. <laughs> so why Wait. not? W a m o r s. They thought the two R's were an M. Wow. So they just rolled with it. <laughs> That's absurd. They're awesome. On. They didn't even like send. The no, this is the like, company that Whamors makes. Now. Th- this is a company that makes. Uh, that like they made a lot of t-shirts and stuff for my hometown sports team right. so Wait, where is this where'd you grow up i grew up just outside of boston a town called wakefield okay 
Oh, this is awesome. So this wasn't a, it wasn't a particularly hard word to spell. It was one they were familiar with printing on uh, sure. clothing. If sure. we're if we're going to talk about mass producing uh, incorrectly objects, I was on Reddit yesterday, and Target had these uh, like bracelet charms uh, mass produced of a hot air balloon. Okay. Yeah. But the top part of the hot air balloon was upside down. On Wait. the bracelet, so so if you if you so think it was about the basket if, and then the balloon was upside down. Yes, yeah. <laughs> the oh. balloon was upside down. So it looked like um, if you if you think of a hot air balloon and the ball is on the top, yeah. with the the pier- the triangle on the bottom connected to the basket, yeah, you have the basket connected to the, to the ball, the ball part of it, with with the triangle portion, smaller portion of the hot air balloon connected to the actual bracelet. Right. What? And they made a bunch. Like they these, made they, they made them and they were in the stores. Yeah, they were in the stores. Oh my god! So I assume those made it to like the ninety-nine cent. Have to have. Yeah. Yeah, oh they're so weird. He'll be right next to uh, copies of The Blind Side yeah. on DVD, yes. right by the totally. checkout. Yes. You'll be able to buy Impulse buy. <laughs> yeah. Totally. I do need six copies. Yes. What if I run into five friends who haven't seen it? <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that's amazing. I've that's never funny. seen that movie. Well, um, it won an Oscar. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so there you go. You must see it. Yeah. So, speaking. Of international the blind waters. Side. Er. Speaking of the blind side. Speaking of international. Let's waters. talk about international waters. Yeah, we're talking about. We're talking about is, the World Cup. This is a world. Uh, Nations this, competing. This podcast is very informative for for world and sports. I feel like this is like a wide world of sports. Podcast. Exactly. Well, <coughs> in cricket, much... there's a term called sticky wicket, and it's not mm-hmm. as gross as it sounds. Mm-hmm. Look it up. Yeah. That's another thing I had to watch when I lived in England. Cricket? cricket. Oh, my God. Oh, and those, they no. last like three days, the yeah, cricket match. Terrible. That's why yes. Million Dollar Arm didn't do well. It's too long of a sport for people to give a shit about. Yeah. Anytime, was... anytime I hear the, about the game cricket, I think of the, the quote from Ninja Turtles when Raphael's like, cricket? You got to know what a crocket is to get cricket. <laughs> <laughs> it's so stupid, but Raphael was he was playing uh, Casey Jones right when him and Casey Jones had the fight for the first right, time. Right, right. Yeah, I do like the way the cricket dudes dress. I like the whole yeah, they're they're pretty dapper. Thing. Yeah. yeah, but other than that, I'm not trying to watch anything that lasts three days like that. Hell yeah, right. No. <laughs> Hell no. Cool. So, anyways, Daniel, you were going to tell yeah, us yeah. So, waters. from the 18th century until the mid 20th century. Uh, the territorial waters of the British Empire, the U.S., France, and many other countries across the world were extended three nautical miles, which is 5.6 kilometers, about 3.4 miles, I believe I calculated, okay. yep. uh, around their country. And this was based on the length of a cannon shot. So that was the portion of an ocean that a sovereign state could feasibly defend from its shore. So about 3.4 miles out... 5.6 kilometers, three nautical miles out from your shore. Right. That was considered international waters where anything goes. Gambling. Girls. Yes. Gambling with girls. Free murder. And other things. That's so... Also, I, I'm a child because still the concept... Of, like, the concept that somebody can own part of the ocean yeah. is hilarious to me. Blows How is that mind. possible? Yeah. Uh, that, I mean, I guess I you can this, affor- enforce it via cannon, yeah. but yeah. Still. yeah, the cannon is how you can enforce yeah. that. <laughs> so, yeah. Get off my ocean. And then the, then the idea of past that point, anything goes. Like, oh, I'm going to murder yeah. this person, but I'm going to drive them out 3.5 miles from That's the shore. So weird. So well, it's legal then for me to murder them. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Well, they've even been gentrifying the ocean. They've extended... <laughs> that length because of things like nuclear weapons testing and fishery disputes. So some nations have arbitrarily extended their maritime claims to as much as 50 or even 200 nautical miles. However, since the late 20th century, the quote 12 mile limit has become almost universally accepted. So That's hilarious to me. The UK extended its territorial waters from 3 to 12 nautical miles in 87 and since then, 12 nautical miles is roughly what you can expect in terms of your average length to go until you're in international waters. And then so, that really, I mean... Then to... Yeah, because then... Okay, not I just to think about it. that episode of The Simpsons, Monkey Knife Fights. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Was yes. That, is that, that's not a knife, that's a spoon. Yeah. Dude, <laughs> yeah, just the idea before. of international war. Like, yeah, you can just do whatever you want because you're not in any country's jurisdiction. Yeah. It's so weird. Hell yeah. It's so weird. It's, well, and it's kind of like... Like, I feel like they do have some sort of law because, like, even in... There's, like, national space law that the world has agreed upon. Like, you can't that, own like, you space own, property. Oh, yeah. you can't. That's why, um, like, the well, U.S. doesn't own the moon. What about going to that website where you can buy a tract of land on the moon and get a sweet certificate that says hey, you Hey, do does this make my my birthday present I bought for my friend owning a star null and void? Yeah. she got to name it after her and everything. <laughs> you gotta wait until so. the... Uh, JK, I never bought anybody that gift. That's a lame gift. So. Yeah. Um... 
Yeah, well, I'm glad. But it's like, even think of how cartoonish that is. That, like, nations had to come together and agree, like, you guys, we can't buy any of space. Listen, Let's we agree. all want it. Well, yes. We all want this moon. Yes. That's what's kind of absurd, because... Because who do you pay? Who do you buy the moon from? <laughs> the who moon. You... Brought to you by Subway. Well, Eat fresh. Yeah. Like, well, who, you... Are you buy... who are you giving real you estate I guess, money to? I guess it goes back to enforcement with cannon. You know, back in the day... Yeah. Like, you, you How know, far can your orbital laser strike? You know, because <laughs> back in the day, like, you just... If you came across a, a land, you just plant your flag in it and be like, yeah. I claim this land for Spain. Like, Shotgun moon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> totally. So, I guess, I mean, at some point they realize, hey, wait a minute, we're running out of real estate. Like, what would prevent, you know, because even the United States technically landed on the moon, we easily could have said we claim this moon for the United States. Oh, we could have yeah. dipped the shit out and of then, that yeah. Then, yeah. then how do we defend the moon? You know, like, Russia could send another thing up there and plant their thing. Like, yeah, no, they we could, claim this. Yeah. How do you, at what point? Yeah, they you, could take over moon Arm Crimea. wrestle. Arm wrestle moon for the crane. moon. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I don't know. That's weird. How, like, at, at some point, it was okay to just stake claim for land. Uh, then right. At some point, yeah. They, but you had armies care. backing yeah, you yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and there's exactly. no exactly. You'd have army, or you'd have yeah. a piece of paper, or some sort of monetary manifest claim. destiny. Hell yeah! What? It's, like, it's like there's no other kind of destiny. Yeah. <laughs> uh, April. Yes. You mentioned you lived in England. Yes. Have you ever seen the Big Ben? Yes, of have course. You ever been to the Big Ben? How yes. was it? Do you have any cool stories about that? <laughs> I like you how just you call it Big Ben. Yeah, I was about to say the. the I've been to oh, I've been to a Big Ben. Yeah, not the, the Big Ben, but one of several. But he's a bartender in West Hollywood. Um, Listen, if the edge, great. if the edge gets a the, Big Ben gets a the. <laughs> um, it was you know, it's just like it looks on TV. Yeah. It's pretty great. It's a big ass clock. It's a big ass clock. If I told you the 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 uh, there's a bell on the Big Ben, right? Have you heard the bell, right? The bell rings. Sure, because I think oh. that they do. Yeah, because like every it, it does chongs, the, it dongs, it yes. does it all, or whatever Parliament. Like yeah, they do yeah. the chimes every 15 yeah. minutes. The uh, the bell in the Big Ben was made in the same place as the Liberty Bell. No oh. way. Yeah, yeah. The Whitechapel Bell Foundry. Yes. Which is a bell foundry in, oh, yeah. in Whitechapel, which is in London's Borough of Tower Hamlets. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Great it's, Hamlet. How are uh, they still open for business? I would think that the demand for bells has gone down <laughs> Oh, my God. People won't shut up about these bells. <laughs> Listen, they got a black market on bells. Yeah. It's uh, the oldest. It's 2014. We still need giant bells. Need yeah. Bells. It's the single oldest manufacturing company in Great Britain. Yeah. Wow. Of any kind. Yeah. That is one thing when I was there, I and this is again, I grew up in Atlanta, which living this I'm sorry, I'm the London derailing of the US. this. Yeah, no, yes. no, derail away. Well, because when I moved here, the and I love LA, it's not a slide on LA, but it's just funny when you're here they go, it'll be like, Oh, that building is so old. It was built in the nineteen twenties. And yeah. I'm like, fuck off. Like I yeah. you know, shit in Atlanta was built in like the seventeen hundreds. Exactly. Like, Georgia's one of the original thirteen colonies, obviously, yeah. so I'm like, yeah. But then I went to England and my friends, I'd be like, Oh yeah, there's an old Civil War thing by my parents' house and they're like Fuck, this was built in the 1400s yeah. or like the 1200s. So uh, like, you don't know old. Even, even more so. Systems. Yes. Like, yes. I, was in, I was in Japan a couple months ago, and you get, you're walking around there. You're like, oh, brand new skyscraper uh, next to a 2,000 year old temple. Yes. Our country yeah. is a young Our piece is of a shit. Baby. Exactly. <laughs> yes. It is. They. Especially in Los Angeles. That's what I'm saying. They're making bells before our country's even a glint in our founding exactly. father's yeah. eyes. We were- yeah. <laughs> the, uh, the, the Whitechapel Bell Foundry dates back to 1570. They, Dang. They, they opened in 1570. And yeah, exactly. They work. Like, our country, like I, I read about so many times like in L.A., they just uh, destroyed like a historical building on La Brea or whatever, like a theater or something. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, the old Arby's. They're constantly in, <laughs> like well, there's no they, they you know they they destroy old you know historical buildings and, and build up uh, you know new ones. That's the one thing I, I you know I kind of give Scientology's a round of applause for. I um, hope it's the only thing they hold. Yeah, about uh, well, Tom Cruise. Uh, great set of superpowers. Yeah, oh, that's true. Uh, I give him a round of applause for Tom Cruise because I'm a huge Tom Cruise fan. But anyways, uh, uh, I digress. Scientology owns the most amount of historical buildings in Los Angeles. Wow. And they, you and know, they, they keep them historical. Right, right, right. So I give them that well, look, credit. You if know, anybody's amazing. eating bowls of money for breakfast, it's Scientology. Yeah, I mean, they have yeah. nothing but money. That's what gives yeah. them strength. Yeah. yeah. We're pro Scientologists, so don't hate us. Don't. What? Don't, I do not well, listen, co-sign on that listen, at all. Hold on. Don't, don't retract But that. also don't murder listen. me. That's what I'm yeah. getting at. I'm getting at. Uh, we, uh, you know, we have no We Ill. just don't subscribe to your newsletter. You know, <laughs> we, have no, we have no poor ilk to Scientologists, so please don't send gophers or anything like that after yes. us. 
Listen, yes. if go. you're going to send someone, send Tom We're Cruise. Safe. I hear Leia Tell Raymond want to hang talking out. mad shit about you guys, so go after her some more. <laughs> yeah, get mad at her. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the White Chapel. Um, go and, back to this bell foundry. Uh, yeah. Like you were saying, <laughs> <laughs> can't get enough bells. Uh, in 1752, the foundry cast the Liberty Bell, which was commissioned to celebrate the 50th anniversary of William Penn's 1701 Charter of Privileges in Pennsylvania's original constitution. Sick charter. Uh, the, be- <laughs> the bell... Uh, the Liberty Bell cracked in 1846 when it was first rung to mark the birthday of George Washington. Now, here's so, some uh, irony. I, I would say 1846, like, if that happened in 1846, like, a good I one. would say that is a, an omen. Like, that to me, I feel like you could still be superstitious at that point. Yeah. Be like, oh, no, the ghost of Washington, he's yeah. coming that, to kill us. Well, no, I also <laughs> say that's when you, what's the return policy at the Whitechapel yeah, Bell I mean, Foundry? Because like I'd be like, yo, this motherfucker cracked as soon as we rang it. Well, but This is supposed to be your business, yeah. this bell. Well, clearly, clearly their business is not doing as well as they thought because Big Ben, which tolls the hour at the Palace yeah. of Westminster, mm-hmm. was cast in 1858 and rung for the first time on May 31st, 1859, and... It also cracked because too heavy of a hammer was initially used. Mm-mm. And uh, how is this bell foundry still yeah, in well, business? Yeah, but here's the, the deal: they only produce shoddy. Here's the thing: items. where do they make one the, of a kind snowflake memories? Yeah. You, you, you mentioned what's the return policy. Here's the thing: the Liberty Bell was made in 1752, and it didn't crack until 1846. That's a good 90 year. Yeah, uh, but it says the first the first time they tried to ring it, though the first ring is when it cracked. Yeah, when it was first rung. Very. Yeah, I so, mean, so, some uh, bells were made to be so displayed. They need to, they need exactly they need to be specific, like. We made this bell, yes, but it's don't for ring it. Only. Yeah. It's yeah. it's like it's like when I was growing up in my grandmother's house, she would have this cabinet full of these cool figures, but yeah. they weren't figures to be played with. They no. were collectibles. Totally, me too, my mom. There are towels in my house you can't use. Those yeah, are the, those are for looks. Exactly, or like w- it's these. the wax fruit of bells. Yes, exactly. <laughs> That's so ring, they should have stated eat. that. Yes, yeah. I mean yeah. I, I have towels in my bathroom that I don't want my roommates using. My I have Same a to- I have a towel rack that it, it broke in my yeah. bathroom. And nobody, none of my roommates decided to fix it for like two months. And we have towels hanging on the door as well. Yeah. So I finally take initiative. I bought, I went out and I, I fixed the rack and I bought new, uh, a new shower mat and then, uh, you know, the, um, another mat by the toilet. They match. And I fixed the, the towel rack and I bought three different towels to match the corresponding mats. And I hang them up and it looks really, really nice and all that. And I'm like, cool. Nobody's bothered using it for a month or so. It's going to look nice now. Yeah. Now I'll go into the bathroom and the towels will be like all like strung and strolling. And it's like, God damn it. What did you do for a month? Well, it wasn't, you know. Right. I want it to look nice. You know, These whatever. are my private so towels. So this was just, that was just an excuse for you to brag about your domestic skills. Yeah. Well, I was so, saying, uh, you ladies, you know, if you're you listening, exactly if you want ladies, to spruce up your bathroom. You can install a towel rack. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we know, get now, it. We get thing. it. Here's the thing. I use the same towel rack. I just uh, fasten it together with duct tape, but it's yeah. you can't, here's the thing. It's hidden inside. It's very it's very well. Uh, it's hidden by the towels. <laughs> yeah, and these towels. <laughs> Don't offend it. It sounds great. It sounds great. Own it. I'm owning it. <laughs> uh, what's the uh, thread count in them there, towels? <laughs> uh, Ross dressed for less towels. So yeah. Like, so long, twelve. Long staple yeah. Egyptian cotton. Yeah. All two threads of it. Uh, so funny. <laughs> So funny stuff. Yeah. Well. All right. Um, we like to have every now and then we'll have a food food fact on here. Food fact. Food what, fact. What's that? Uh, burp, April. Burp. Yes. Do you enjoy eating Philadelphia cream cheese? I do. Ooh. I find it to be delicious. Yes. Oh, you do. See, I dislike it. You don't oh, like do cream you? cheese? Yeah, what's like wrong cream. with you? Yeah. What's going like, on? Yeah, you know, it's a. Uh, I don't. You like don't like it on bagels? Nothing. No, the only thing I like on I, the only thing I eat on bagels are butter, peanut butter, or jelly. Sure. So you're five. Yeah. yeah. Five years old. Five years and old. Listen, and a good, I, uh, a good peanut butter Capri bagel Sun. is not to be trifled with, but come on, bro. Yeah, cream yeah. cheese. <laughs> come, on, come on, bro. Uh, That's all I'm saying. Do you even lift yeah. a spoon with cream even... cheese in it? <laughs> cream cheese. Carbo so... load that shit yeah. up. Yeah. So gross, though. Anyways. Just uh, pretend it's like cheese or cream. <laughs> I, don't, I like both, but I don't. I, like lo- I love the phrasing on this on this little. And, uh, so our notes here read early prototypes of cream yeah. cheese. Well, to the fact at hand, real quick, Philadelphia cream cheese actually originated in New York. What? Yeah. Wait a minute. Scandal. Aren't, yes. Aren't Philly and New York rivals? Uh, Rival um, cities, sort of. Yeah, but like less in a less meaningful way because New York's like, come on. Right. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> that is so perfectly put. New York's like the like when when uh, they're like the bully who's fighting a smaller child and they just right. put out their hand. Yeah, and then it's and, like, still swinging. The bully, the, yeah, the yeah, swinging. and just whiffing. Yeah. Uh, uh, so here, first fact, first bullet point of Philadelphia cream cheese rate in, originated in New York. Uh, as Dan mentioned, early prototypes. <laughs> That's so great. I have a prototype for some sort of cream-based cheese product. Yes. <laughs> Which also wouldn't they be like? Okay, aren't aren't all cheeses? Creamy Cream. right now. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. It like, contains part aluminium, part transformium. <laughs> transformium. transformium. Yeah, because in, in 1583, what kind of solid state cheeses did they have? Yeah. Um, uh, early prototypes of cream cheese were referenced in England as early as 1583. Dang. And in France as early as 1651. Lay dang. Uh, <laughs> recipes recipes are recorded soon after 1754. Soon, in quotes. <laughs> uh, particularly from Lincolnshire and the southwest of England. Yeah. Now, this is where it gets... Uh, this is where we fast forward to the on. year 1873. One man, William A. Lawrence, a Chester, New York dairyman, was the first to mass produce cream cheese. Keep going. In 1873, he purchased a Neufchatel factory, and shortly thereafter, by adding cream to the process, was able to create a richer cheese that he called cream cheese. Sure. Now, I guess maybe actually, yeah, I feel like old cheeses. Are like hard, stinky cheeses. Yeah. yeah, I feel like a cheese you buy in the 1500s is gonna smell like a foot <laughs> and be like real hard with yeah. a real hard rind, like monster cheese. Yeah, but harder than that, even yeah. like I'm thinking of like Limburger or something. Limburger so maybe this guy did revolutionize bad. the game. Just sounds bad. And uh, Neufchatel, I'm sure I'm pronouncing that wrong. It's a soft, uh, kind of crumbly, uh, mold ripened cheese made okay. in France, uh, specifically in Normandy. Okay, <clears throat> yeah. So. So this dude put cream in it. That's the kind of cheese like, he put cream in yeah. it to make a, a thicker, sexier, yeah. Yeah. newer, richer <laughs> cheese. Little, yeah. Um, mm. So then, uh, 1877 comes around. He creates the first brand for cream cheese: the silhouette of a cow, followed by the words "Neufchatel" and sexy. "cream cheese." The silhouette of a cow. The silhouette of a cow. By it's utterly <laughs> irresistible. The silhouette of a cow. That sounds like it's like a uh, advert uh, advertisement for like some uh, some cologne or some perfume. Yeah. The silhouette of a cow. By, totally. by uh, desire, yeah, by Philadelphia. Totally. <laughs> uh, in, 18, uh, in 1879, in order to create a larger factory, Lawrence partnered with a Chester merchant, Samuel S. Durland. Uh, then in 1880, Elva L. Reynolds, a New York cheese distributor, began to sell the cheese of Lawrence and Duran and created a brand named for it, Philadelphia Cream Cheese. Reynolds chose the name based on the reputation Philadelphia had for such cheese. Okay, now, t- how, why did they have that rep for that cheese? <laughs> oh. he, they just so, made this cheese in New York. How did Philly have a rep for it? Uh, ben Franklin, uh, founding father, inventor, was known uh, to be a, what's the word, freak nasty bitch. <laughs> and, <laughs> no, I have no idea where they got a reputation Isn't for cream funny? cheese. We'll name this after a city Listen, outside of the city we just invented it. Exactly. In. How we invented it here. But we got to cash in on this reputation for slick, creamy cheeses. Yeah, I, that makes no sense. I mean, I'm glad it exists because I find it to be delicious. Yeah. But it is pretty funny. I'm that glad that the cream cheese reputation spread Ayo. to New York. Keep that shit on locks. Hey, oh. This is at midnight puns. Hey, oh. I love it. I love it. <laughs> That's yeah. interesting. Uh, well, yeah. cream cheese. That's, uh, cream cheese. That was pretty fun. Yeah. I think. That we are unfortunately approaching our sure. oh, time damn. limit. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Time oh. flies when you're talking about cream cheese. Yeah, it does. Time flies. Yeah. Um, so, April, thank you so much for thank coming back. Thank you for having me. Yeah. For, uh, yeah. We learned about Absolutely. sports. We learned about spreads. <laughs> yes. And spreads, everything in between. Sports. Life. Yeah. International yeah. waters. Yeah. Yes. These are all, these are all <laughs> axioms and just, just tools to live your life. Yes. The most important thing uh, we learned was Dolph Lundgren is 54. Exactly. Oh, oh, without question. That's the most important thing I learned today. Dolph Lundgren. All of today. You say 56, right? 56, 56. I believe. Oh, 56. Yes. So he's older than I said. Yes. So he, yeah. he's, he's been aged simply by listening to this podcast. <laughs> because with age comes wisdom, and you're all a lot wiser after listening to There you facts. go. He's not human. He's a machine. Yeah. He's... Uh, <laughs> 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 he will break you, guys. He will watch Rocky it. Four. Do yourself exactly. a favor. Rock, I, and Rocky Four. I just love that montage of him work, of of uh, of Rocky training in like the coldest weather, punching the raw a meat. Barn. Yeah. yeah, totally. Is that the first? Is that isn't it that one where he's punching raw meat? 
the first was that's Rami, the first one, yeah. But, oh, okay. Uh, but Rocky Four was when he was in Russia. Yes, and, and like, he is, he's, he's being, in a barn he's and being, shit like, like that. Spied oh, because on yeah, because the they didn't give him any no. like weights. He had no. to like make all of his own stuff. His own. Totally, yeah, to, yeah. He wanted to get away from Adrian because yes. he was being naggy and don't yeah, go, yeah. don't go. He killed, he killed Apollo. Yes, 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 yes. And I, yeah, I remember them being like, "Here's your workout thing," and it's yeah. the barn with nothing with in nothing, it. And, but yeah, like yeah. ropes and yes. pulleys and rocks and like chains. Uh, you guys were in spring for a couple of barbells. Yeah, totally. Do you even lift yet? Yep. <laughs> and there in Rocky Four also, I believe that was the uh, the debut of the robot, right? The 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 robot that his uncle had delivering him beer and stuff like that. Remember? It was yes. that number three. I think it was in four. Where in Rocky Four he was like really rich and well off, and in Apollo Creed, I think Creed, that was three. Apollo Creed was in the the Apollo Creed was in the swimming pool, and like a robot comes up with him. Right. Three. three? I think it's I three, know. or the beginning of four. I'll yeah, have to maybe. go rewatch him. I don't know. And uh, apparently he almost killed Sylvester Stallone during the filming of Rocky of Four. Oh, like for real? Yeah, there was, uh, for one take, Stallone had the idea to stop faking it and play it real for the camera. So for a good 15 seconds, uh, Dolph Lundgren pounded him so hard that he wound up in intensive care in London for nine days with light-threatening heart injuries. Oh, my God. Yeah. And, uh... That's a dumb... I mean, look oh at Dolph Lundgren. That's a dumb dumbest. idea. Don't yeah. tell him to really punch you. No. The insurance company didn't want to pay Stallone's claim because they said the injury is more in line with a head-on car crash. And Stallone said in a 2006 interview, well, have you seen Dolph Lundgren? That's a truck. That's a steering wheel. That's a head-on collision. And they honored the insurance claim. Oh, my God. That's amazing. Yeah. That is amazing. What would you name April? Back to your naming oh, I failed the first test. Why are you going to make another one? <laughs> if you had to name a truck... Based on Dolph Lundgren. Lundgrenium. A truck. <laughs> a truck. Name yeah. a new truck. Name a truck. Inspired like, by Dolph. Yeah. The Chevy something. I mean, the, it would just be the Chevy Drago. <laughs> yeah, I, I like mean, it. it had to be. Like it takes it. up six lanes. Yeah. Oh, Chevy Drago. Yes. God damn, that's funny. Yeah, with new anti-lock brakes. I will break you. Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, uh, Chevy, if you're listening, we... Uh, and Chevy Drago breaks, break you. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the... It's, Yakov Smirnov does the GPS. <laughs> it's, not a, it's not a truck. It's a machine. Uh, so. Yeah. Yes. Uh, do you have what, any stuff yeah, to plug? Any fun plug stuff anything? coming up? They I am still hosting my podcast called Go Bayside. Go Bayside. Ooh, which, which is, is doing just, well, I see. It's doing quite well. It's Saved by the Bell podcast. Hell yeah. I'm closing in on the last few episodes, so that's... That's what I do, and then I'm on Chelsea Lately every couple of weeks. Nice. Until what are you, the end. Yeah, what are you guys like going to do? Right? Um, yes. Are you going to continue the podcast with different guests for different episodes? No, I'm done when it's are you over. Choose I'm going to do. Show? Yeah, oh, I'm not going to do another. I'll do another podcast, but okay. it's not going to be another show. It's not going to be It'll lashed be like to the mast thing. of a pop culture product. <laughs> no, I've gotten emails from people being like, "You should do 90210 or do Full House or do something like that," yeah. and like. There's no other show, and I watched those shows growing up, but there's yeah. nothing I know as intimately as Saved by the Bell. Gotcha. So I'm not. I think I'll just have a whole different. Yeah, idea. just have that be a complete work. Yeah, yeah. I, I think that's the. I like that it kind of has like a finite. It's like nope, it's over. Yeah, it's beginning and end. That yeah. way, people can you know watch along. Yeah, you guys yeah. can revisit it until the end of time. Awesome. Yeah. And yeah. are you going to be appearing on her new Netflix show? I have no. That's not even happening until 2016. Okay. So it's like We really have no. Yeah. Gotcha. She like literally just signed that deal, yeah. so we all have no idea. Cool. It's like, well, yeah. that's like not Hopefully. happening until the Justice League movie comes out and everybody hates it. Oh, yeah. it's Batman. <laughs> Batman v right. Superman, Batman v Dawn Superman. of Justin. Right. Dawn yes. of Justin. <laughs> Batman v Superman v Wonder Woman v Aquaman v Cyborg v every yeah. Too many characters. Yeah. It's yeah. a Supreme Court of Superheroes. Superheroes. And justice will um, be delivered. Cool. So go Bayside on yes. iTunes. Go Bayside. Yes. Chelsea Lately. Chelsea yes. Lately. At Apey, A-P-E-Y, yes. on Twitter, much like if you were trying to describe yep. the new Planet of the Blank movie. Yeah, it's yep. very kind of AP. <laughs> very AP. It's also um, great. Go see it. Oh, uh, really? Yeah. Okay, good. Also on Instagram, of course it is. It's Planet Apes. It's gonna be good. <laughs> Duh, uh, Doy. It's a fucking ape Sorry, on, uh, my uh, bad. Uh, apes on horses. Of course, that logic got me into see Transformers Four. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> robots yeah. on dinosaur robots. That doesn't. Mm-hmm. Lo- that logic doesn't hold up. Um, on Instagram, what's your Instagram? April Rich. April Rich. Very yes. Good. Uh, as usual, you can follow me on Twitter at my name is Razzle Two, and I'm at Osteoferocious. And if you'd like to get to know the podcast a little bit on Twitter, you can follow us at TWL Podcast. We're on Gmail, TWL Podcast at Gmail dot com, and Facebook. Today we learned with Razzle and Dan. Like it, love it. 
Share our posts. <laughs> Share our posts. Tell and, your friends about it. Yeah, and uh, guys, as always, we appreciate the kind yeah. words and the uh, ratings on iTunes. Oh, we love it. Thank uh, you, guys. Keep it up. Make a second account. Do it again. Yeah. <laughs> If you have yeah. the time. Steal I don't want to take time out of your day. Steal your friend's iPhone and uh, review from there, you know. I prefer is. borrow it, you know, right. give it back, because then, uh... Sure. Yeah. No. Semantics. Dialogues. Yes. Steal it like a beach and then give it back. <laughs> Semantics. <Yeah>. Dialogue. <laughs> <laughs> Math. Cellular telephones. <laughs> Podcast. Uh, anyway, this is going anyways. off the rails. Yeah, absolutely. Um, we appreciate it. We appreciate all your support. And, uh, April, once again, thanks for thanks for Thank doing Thank you. And, uh... For those of you, start being jealous now because uh, you'll probably hear about it on uh, next episode. But uh, me and April are going to see Huey motherfucking the U.S. Oh, my yeah. God. Uh, as you know, if, if you've been with us and since the, the beginning. And, the, and also the news. And the, news the news did not show up. <laughs> as, uh, if you've been following along and you heard the last podcast with uh, with April fucking almost like 40 episodes ago. She was like yeah. five or six. Long time ago. Uh, April and I are huge fans of Huey Lewis huge. and the news. And uh, he's playing in Del Mar on Tuesday. I don't know where that's at. I think it's near Irvine. Do we have Irvine. good seats? Is this just like a general have, admission? No, we have great seats. Okay, good. We're like, we got like a table, like 10 rows from the Fuck fucking... Yes. That's, okay, yeah, good. The seats good, are amazing. Good, good. Uh, and we're so, going to see who uh, So add Raz on Snapchat. He will send you snippets of the Snapchat. concert. <laughs> <laughs> totally. I will be... Uh, I will be losing so many Instagram friends by yeah. my photos. Oh, and yeah, we'll be like it. dueling Instagram <laughs> posts in oh, this. Excuse so me. goddamn. Oh, that's a funny idea. I've seen him before, and oh, yeah? he plays nothing but his. Nothing but his. I've seen him. Give the people what they want. They I've, paid yes. money to be here. Yeah. Deliver. I've uh, I've seen, I hope he plays Jacob's Ladder or Walking on a Thin Line. Those are, I see. I, He'll I, totally, he did, I yes. Love, he I mean, I, I've seen him, I've seen him a couple times, and he always plays the hits, and my brother seen him three weeks ago in Michigan, and he said it was amazing, and uh, I'm very excited. And, uh, and I'm really, psyched really, really too. Really I'm so, totally uh, psyched. Next time you see these guys, yeah. ask them about the show. Come yes. On. Come on. And, uh, Don't be a jerk. Ask yeah. them how their time was. We'll probably be live tweeting it. At least I, I won't. Of course. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so that, that hashtag will be TWL <laughs> Hugh News. <laughs> Hugh News. T- hashtag TWL Hugh News. Hugh Lou. <laughs> TWL Hugh News. Hugh, Hugh, uh, uh, Hugh It'll news. be live streaming on Hugh Lou. Yeah. Hugh yeah. Lou. Uh, so funny. All right. Um, Thanks, uh, thanks, April, for joining us. Yes. Um, yes. Thanks, Aristotle, once again, for being awesome. Uh, thanks to the listeners. Uh, tell your friends. Um, and as always... And if you want to change yourself, you want to change your personality, remember, yes, we can, Sformium. <laughs> now leaving Nerdist.com. Nerdist.com.